It's Christmas time. Draw some pictures, get to school a little bit early, do a little extra. All right, what I have here is a multiplication table. How do multiplication tables work? Well, basically you take your outside picture or value. So if I'm doing here to here, we got a Christmas tree and a candy cane. Those two values would multiply together to make a stocking where the two meet. So boom, candy cane versus Christmas tree makes a stocking. Well, we gotta figure out what a Christmas tree, what a candy cane, what a stocking is all worth, and we can give those values over here. So again, looks like a snowman times two, snowman times two makes a gingerbread. Interesting. So we gotta start working through this puzzle, figuring out what each and every individual picture means. I would start making a list, give your values over here as you get them so that you can check and make sure you're getting them correct. Let's start with where I would begin with a puzzle like this. This is a great entry task for those students of yours and it is the season, so have a little bit of fun with it, right? Okay. Um, snowman times snowman equals one. I think there's only one way to make that work. What number times itself would make one? One. All right, so now that we know a snowman's worth one, a snowman times a candy cane makes three. Snowman times candy cane makes three. So we know snowman's a one. What would a candy cane have to be? One times three makes three, so candy cane's worth three. Okay, looks like we've got a Christmas tree times a snowman would make a Christmas tree. Hmm, well, we know snowman's one, so one times a Christmas tree makes a Christmas tree. We don't know what a Christmas tree's worth. It doesn't help me there. But we do know that a candy cane times a two makes a Christmas tree. And we already know what a candy cane's worth. Three. So if that candy cane's worth three, times two, that must mean that Christmas trees are worth six. All right, so now if six times one makes six, six times two should make, hey, Christmas tree's correct. It is a six, good. We know candy cane is a three, three times one. What are we missing here? We're missing gingerbread. We don't know what gingerbread is yet. Okay, well we know a snowman is worth how much? One. So one times two makes gingerbread. Ah, gingerbread must be worth two. And last but not least, this stocking. Do we know what the Christmas tree is worth? Yes, we do. It's six. Do we know what the candy cane is worth? Yes, we do. It's three. So three times six makes stocking. Stocking must be 18. There's your answers. Hopefully you were successful with this. Give it to your students as an entry task or any part of the lesson throughout the day. It's the month of December. Enjoy it, have fun with it, and let it snow.